Hey guys, welcome back to Stuff and Things for your daily dose of nerd news. On today's episode, we take a look at a new transportation system that's straight out of science fiction, a new way to help grandma perk up in the memory department, and one of our closest relatives is not as dumb as we think. So first up for today, in our modern lives, we can chat with anyone we want across the world, we can get information from servers anywhere, but it seems to take freaking forever to just get from one place to another, just going to any city. If you any of you are in major metropolitan areas, it kind of takes forever to get anywhere. And our only really fast transportation option, airplanes, is horribly inefficient. In answer to all this, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and Tesla Motors, has unveiled his vision as, he says it, the fifth type of transportation, the Hyperloop. It's basically a self-contained tube system that will get you from San Francisco to LA in just 30 minutes, and you'd be traveling at like 1126 kilometers an hour. The Hyperloop is basically just a fancy pneumatic tube. You have a cushion of air surrounding a 28% capsule, and then every 30 seconds one of those is launched using magnetic acceleration. So building a tube all the way from San Fran to LA would be kind of crazy. The project itself would cost anywhere from 6 to 7.5 billion dollars. But hey, that investment looks like it only costs about 20 bucks to ride one way. Best part about this, like a true visionary, the plans for this are being open sourced. They're being published for whoever wants them, and Musk doesn't really want to develop himself. He wants it out there, he wants entrepreneurs to do it. Moving along, if you've been having some troubles lately, you know, keeping tabs on things, maybe lost your keys a few many times, couldn't remember the next line, well, you're in luck. Just take it easy, relax, pour yourself a cup of hot cocoa, or hot chocolate, or chocolate, whatever you call it in your country. It's weird everywhere. A new study just published looked at 60 people with average ages about 73 who then consumed two cups of delicious cocoa every day for a month. Sounds like the best study ever. People without any sort of memory issues didn't really get anything out of it, but people who did have memory issues showed a dramatic increase in blood flow. And that blood flow leads to, of course, more blood getting to your brain, led for better results in memory and thinking tests. And if that wonderfulness wasn't good enough for you, earlier studies have looked at dark chocolate, the wonderful deliciousness that it is. If you decide to pick up that variety of hot chocolate, you're looking at lowering your cholesterol and lowering your blood pressure. Chocolate is the best thing ever. And finally, our vision of the big dumb Neanderthal has always been kind of silly. I mean, as a species, they survived a long time, thousands of years longer than we have. And without us, hey, maybe they could have been the dominant species. They had everything going for them. Big chests, big brains, bigger than ours. I guess, you know, we just couldn't let that be and we killed them or something. Or bred with them. Who knows? A report just published detailing the findings of several bone fragments in southern France. Uh, these fragments were of specific tools uh, known as l'histoire, which is used in leather making. The carbon dating of these tools puts them anywhere from 41,000 to 51,000 years ago, which actually predates Homo sapiens and our invasion of Europe. They said les soies are actually made from ribs and they're used to scrape the hides of leather. You guys don't know what leather's from, it's, it's like from a cow hide or a pig hide or something. It's the skin of an animal, you're sitting on the skin of an animal. How do you feel? And the design of the tools is almost identical to what's used by modern day leather makers. Now that year of it predating Homo sapiens in dating Europe is, well, a little up in the air. We just don't have a lot of evidence to support exact dates of we know this exact chain of events led to all the migrations and all the moving around. It's possible they developed the technology and they gave it to us. It's possible we developed the technology and gave it to them. Or, hey, it could have just, we both just could have done it. That's happened in countless other cultures where people just developed things on their own. Pyramids across the world just made up because it was a good design. What this really shows is Neanderthals were not the big dumb a people that we think they are. At least some of us think they are. Again, like I said, they had bigger brains, there's the impossibility they could actually talk like us. They had very similar vocal cords, possibly the genes for allowing it to happen. It's just one of those quirks of life that we're here and not our wonderful brethren. So guys, what I'd really love to know from you is, do you think the six billion dollar price tag, or probably more, on that Hyperloop system is worth it? Do you think we should actually move to probably a much better form of transportation? Or maybe just, you know, tweak our current system, see if we can make the, you know, current tech a little bit better? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you like what you've seen, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we'll check you out in the next video.